Hey, so welcome to all you motion artists out there. Um, we have a new chain tool on the Plotograph plus iOS app, okay? So a few of you have asked how to use this and I'm about to show you. It's like really easy, uh, but I could see where initially it could be kind of like, what the, how the heck do you use this thing? All right, so here we go. So I have this image pulled up of stairs. We get this request a lot, by the way, um, for stairs to animate and see, to show how we do it. All right, so I have the Explorer menu opened up. I'm gonna close that, but once again, to open that, you just slide it to the right. That way you can choose kind of what app you wanna work with. Right now we're in Plotograph Plus on iOS. And I'm gonna to slide to the left to open up the project. And there we are. Um, I've already um, went ahead and masked this image just to make it easier because I'm gonna show you how to animate it real quick. All right, so I masked out everything around the stairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap on our animate tool here. And so if I were to just start tapping and dragging, it would already, you know, I can kind of manually do points and stuff. But I'm gonna show you how to specifically use the chain tool. Um, so I'm gonna tap on the chain tool, okay? So it highlights that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap my first in the bottom left here of the stairs. Just check this out, tap here, okay? And you see that little green, um, animation starter track, and then I'm gonna tap again to the next set, st the stairs, okay? And then I'm gonna tap again, and all the way up, I'm just gonna tap on the top of the stairs. Super easy, just like that. Now the trick is, I'm gonna re-tap on the chain icon, okay, which turns it off, and I'm gonna tap it one more time. So the whole key of stairs is we wanna make equal tracks all the way up. So now I'm gonna to go to the other side of the stairs and I'm gonna tap on the bottom right there of the stair and I'm gonna find my spots kind of going up the steps. Tap, tap, literally I'm just tapping on the screen and it drew the tracks, okay? And so now I'm gonna go ahead and press play and there we go. The stairs are animated. Um, Pretty perfect. <laughs> it's that easy, it's super simple. So before, when you use just the animate tool, you'd have to tap and drag and tap and drag, but you'd have to tap your new track point right on top of the other one, which is almost impossible, especially if you're on a phone. Really hard to get that. So the chain tool is epic. It's gonna really help with hard lines, and there's other uses for it too that are really cool. But that's basically it right there. So now if we wanna go in and let's say we're, we like what's going on there and we go over to the effects and let's say we wanna like, you know, put something on there. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna slide up, so check this out. I'm sl swiping up, which exposes at the bottom, see how that worked, is the search tool. I'm gonna swipe there back down to hide it, swiping back up with my thumb. Once again, search, go into search, and let's go ahead and put, I don't know, let's put smoke, okay? And I don't know, I, I happen to really like this um, smoke one here at the bottom, so I'm gonna click there. All right, close that down, so now we have the smoke. It's like steam slash smoke, right? So it just kind of creates a little bit of drama and action there at the bottom, so I can, Take that, bring it up, show as much of it as I want. I have like tons of smoke. I don't know, that looks pretty cool. Like little steam action, right? So now I'm gonna tap the pencil on the left-hand side of the thumbnails, a little pencil there, and that pulls up the opacity for starter. So I'm gonna bring the opacity back a little bit, which is what I do almost on every overlay. I like to take the opacity back just a tad bit. Makes it look more real. Now I'm gonna go to brightness, and let's go ahead and bring that all the way down. So now it brings kind of like this mysterious sort of smoke in there, which is pretty cool. I like that. All right, hit the check mark, press play, and there you go, the chain tool. All right, super easy. Um, I'll give you more tutorials down the line as far as like some other ways to use that, but that's about it for now. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them below. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Okay.